Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. I just come to do leftover Monday. You know, you always have a leftover from Sunday, right? So this is leftover Monday. And I just want to show you what I was going to do with my leftovers. So I made a sauce yesterday. And I'm going to do something with the leftover sauce. Quick and easy. Let somebody else do the work for you. And we're going to convert this sauce this sauce over into some chowder okay so let's get in did y'all see me pop that everywhere let's make this chowder real quick hey y'all come on in we're gonna make some we're gonna make some chowder off our leftover sauce so y'all come on so we can get started together yeah everybody gonna make it together we all gonna make this it's quick and it's simple and it's easy so y'all come on in I'm going to give you just a few more, just a few more minutes, then we're going to get started. Y'all ready? This is Leftover Monday, and we're going to take the sauce, and we're going to turn it into some crab, shrimp, chowder. That sounds good? It's cold, it's wet some places, it's sleeting some places, it's snowing, and we just think we'll warm you up, because I love y'all. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook and you're my friends. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Good God Almighty this evening. And I thank you for supporting me. I thank you for loving me. Cause I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook and you're my friends. Come on, leftover Mondays. Let's make this chowder. Come on and then we'll talk, yeah? Okay, let me move you close. Let me get close. Here we go. This is leftovers. So what I'm going to do with the leftover sauce from last night that has all that good crab and shrimp in there, I'm going to build off of it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Mexican corn because it has all the little things that I want in it, the bell peppers and the corn. So I'm going to add it in there. Okay. Give it a little stir. We're building off of leftovers. Y'all, please try this. The next thing is... Because I don't want to cut up potatoes and go through all that work, mm -mm. I'm going to use some progressive clam chowder. We're building off of leftovers. That's what we're doing. All right, that's looking so good. We're going to let it just marry together. Next, I chopped up. The leftover shrimp, we're going to add it into the mix. The leftover garlic shrimp from last night. And we're, we're making a chowder. Now, chowders are not supposed to be super thick. But we're going to build off of last night. You still want to have it where you can... Sip it. Now at this point, because we started off, I did put the video up of how to make the sauce. And I want you to understand that that's what we're building off of the sauce. So we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. See, when you pick it up, you're going to get a bite of everything. Look, look at all that goodness in there. Now, over here, I have a little heavy cream. I'm going to add a little heavy cream. Probably a good tablespoon. That's it. I just want it to make sure it's good and it's creamy. Just really good and creamy. Now, I want you to know in the sauce, I rinsed the container out. So, I did have about... Maybe a cup of water that I added, but that was it. Mm. 
Now for me, I think I'm going to add another can of the Mexican corn in there just to build it up. So pay attention to it. That's what we're doing right now. We're creating flavors. I think I'm going to add one more can. Yes, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to taste it. See if it needs anything. And it really shouldn't. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. I don't need anything. Oh, that's good. Good and seafoody. Can y'all see? Never throw away when you make too much of something. Now you can use regular crackers. You can not have them at all. You can use oyster crackers. Whatever you think you would want. That's all. I'm going to let that simmer. And uh, even though you see vegetable stock, if it would have been too thick... After I added the clam chowder, I was prepared to use this, but I didn't have to. How y'all doing? So, this is crab um, and seafood, shrimp, and it is going to be a great chowder. So, I'm going to reduce it to simmer. That's it. Now, I hope y'all can do that, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. All right. Yeah, thank you for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking on that. Did I do good on that? Very good. I have a quick question. Please follow me, please, on YouTube and Instagram. Then I have one more question before I lose a bunch of you. Get to know me. Chat with me. You leave so quick before you find out more things that I'm going to do. For those that are new, thank you for following me. For those that stick around, thank you for the time and the effort and loving me. Um, for some of you, I may be a little too spiritual, and I get that. But the platform that I was given was given from God, and I can't exclude him. Hey, Deborah Dunbar. And um, I just want to get to know my audience and build from the ones that I know that are truly watching me. I want to find out if there's more I can do. If there's any questions or any answers. Yeah. I like to sing. I like to lift up the name of Jesus. Hey, Deborah McLean. I love you. Yes, I do. Um, this is simmering. Hey, Janice Martin, girl. I'm going to catch that bus one day and come stay with me. Look, um, do y'all have any questions concerning what I just made? Is there any questions? Hey from Hampshire, New ha Hey from Hampshire, um, United Kingdom. Do y'all have any questions about this chowder I just made? Thank you, Edith Carter. I love you. Well, who told the sun where to stand in the morning? And who told the ocean, you can only come this far? And who told the moon, where to hide till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? Well, I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer.
redeemer lives let earth and heaven testify let this life within me cry i know my But I do know. Yeah. And I do know this is going to be some good clam chowder. It has got to simmer. It has got to simmer. So look, y'all. I have been enjoying this cooking. I have enjoyed you all. Hey, Deborah Dunbar, I love you. Yes, I do. And thank you again for your love token. You keep on blessing me over and over and over again. And I'm waiting. I have a word from you all. I need to tell y'all this word. I'm waiting till my change come. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not my chance. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. I don't think God takes chances, but he makes changes. And I know my Redeemer lives. And the reason why I'm waiting on my change to come is because we all have a wait time. Is it all right if I break that down to you? You know, I did hair for a long time, over 30 years. And I had my hair salon for 27. And what I do know is that there is a shelf life for everything. Are y'all following me? There's a shelf life for everything. For color, there's a shelf life. For perms, there's a shelf life. For food, there is a shelf life. For everything. Hmm. And they expire at different times. So, I'm waiting for my change to come. Because my wait time may be different than your wait time. Mm -hmm. Mine may come just before the break of day. Yeah. And yours could have come late in the midnight hour. God's going to turn it around. And around. And around. So what I realize is that I have to wait for my change. Like we all have a season. There's a season to everything under the sun. Everything. It's a time to laugh. It's a time to cry. It's a time to plant. Then it's a time to pluck up that which you've planted. Yeah. It's a time for death. There's a season for everything. And we're in a season of sorrow. Yet blessings still come. Blessings can come out of sorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think it's teaching us not to be so selfish and so self-centered. I think God has us at a place of stillness if we would be still and listen to his voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John the Baptist, he said, The one that cries out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. He was the forerunner. Yeah, he, he suffered a lot. Because he was trying to tell them what was about to happen. But remember, way before Jesus and John met, remember when Mary got to her cousin Elizabeth's house, Elizabeth's baby jumped in her womb and was filled with the Holy Ghost. So sometimes our meeting right here on this platform, God intended to get a word to you. Your change is coming. Yeah. Your wait, your wait period has become an expiration. Give me some hearts since y'all started it because y'all taught me this. Yeah. And what I'm trying to do is teach you simple, simple, simple ways why you waiting, why you're at home. Remember what grandmama told you? Don't waste nothing. Don't throw it away. Why you waiting? Since you got to wait anyway. Oh, you got to wait. Oh, yeah. You got to wait till dinner ready. You got to wait for this to summer. So since you're waiting, you need to understand why you're waiting. Somebody write, while I'm waiting. While I'm waiting. I might as well make good use of it. Ha! Hallelujah. I wish I could get some people to have a relationship with Jesus. Oh yeah, I do. I wish I could get some up and say amen. Because God sent me to cook. But also to encourage. Also to leave a word. Not to talk as though I'm not talking about him, but not be afraid to mention his name. His name is Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 oh Jesus. And the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And we can run into it. And we can be safe. While we're waiting. Pay attention to your surroundings. Y'all know about commanding your day. Have you seen the weather patterns? Have you seen it snowing in places it doesn't normally snow? Snowing in Texas? Snowing in Chicago? Arkansas? Ice storms? New Haven, Connecticut? So many pa Alabama? Pay attention to your surroundings. But why are you waiting? Mm -hmm. It's what you're doing in the wait. Have y'all ever thought about when you die, they give the day you was born, there's a dash. And the day you die, you die. Well, from this time to t this time is a dash. You got to give account of everything you did in that dash. Why are you waiting? Let's just talk about it. You got to wait anyway. You might as well say, I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Because you're going to have a wait period. Well, Miss Tracy, I don't understand where you're going with this. Break it down to me. I like to if you give me the time. If your attention span can stay long enough. Because a lot of us like to surf. We go from one show to the next show. And God is trying to tell you something right here. If you can just be still, you can't wait five minutes. So I'm not understanding, Miss Tracy. Break it down. Well, if I go to McDonald's and I order a cheeseburger, french fries, drink, and a Big Mac, they say pull around. But if I say, I want a cheeseburger, no pickles, and no onions, and then I want a Big Mac, hold the sauce, but add more lettuce. And then can I cut my french fries fresh with no salt? They're going to say, you got to pull to the side. You got to wait time. But I ordered what was on the menu, but you special ordered it. You needed some extra stuff. So you got to wait. There's a wait time. Your wait time on your order may be an additional five minutes. My wait time is drive on through. My wait time is one minute. So while you're waiting, what do we do while we're waiting? While we don't mind waiting? Well, if you don't mind waiting, somebody write number one, don't complain. I'm waiting. Since you're waiting and you don't mind waiting, number one, don't complain. Don't complain. Okay, Miss Tracy, I get that. Yeah, but nobody hadn't wrote it down for me. I got some good keepers on him. Don't complain, number one. Mm -hmm. Well, what's number two? Thank you, Monique Griggs. I love you. Yes, I do, baby girl. Thank you, Kayla Hayes. Thank you, Karen Frazier. So since you don't mind waiting, don't complain. Number two, pray. Communicate. That's what prayer is, communication. Communicate. Somebody write communicate. Why am I going to sit here and wait on you? If you was asking for a ride with me, and I was on my way, and I was out in the car waiting on you, I would pick up the phone and call and say, Janice Martin, how much longer is it going to be before you come out? One, don't complain. Two, communicate. Somebody write communicate. That's right. Communicate. That's what your prayer is. So we're not going to complain. But we're going to communicate. That's two C's, right? No complaining. And we're going to communicate. Well, what is three? Since, since we're not going to complain because we're waiting. And we're going to communicate. Mm-hmm. What is the last? What is another one? It ain't necessarily the last one. Uh, number three, be still. What do you mean? Well, he didn't ask you to do it. He didn't need your help. Be still till you get instructions from what to do. If he didn't tell you to move, don't move. If he didn't tell you to go get a divorce, sit down trying to file some papers. I don't know why I keep saying this over and over. And I think it's because God ordained marriage that the enemy is coming against it so bad. He don't want nobody to marry. Be still. Thank you, Janice Martin. So now write them for me, these three, and then we're going to go to number four. Janice Martin, one is don't complain. 
Two is pray, communicate. Number three is be still. And know that he's God. You've got to be still. You have to. Well, what would number four be? Since you don't want me to complain, you want me to communicate, and you want me to be still. <laughs> Trust. Trust the Lord that God with all your heart and all your might. Mm -hmm. Just like it says, love him that way. So if you're going to love him, you're going to trust him. You got to trust and obey. Mm -hmm. So somebody write, trust and obey. Yeah. So if you don't mind waiting, you got a period of wait. And the last one going to blow your mind. The last one is going to blow your mind because you don't think this can happen. Mm -hmm. So you you won't complain. You're going to communicate. You're going to be still and you're going to trust and obey. What is the last one? Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Because I got mine before you got yours. Don't put your hand between God blocking you. Your order was almost up. And because they took the bag to the car that pulled in after you, you mad now telling McDonald's you want your money back. Well, what do you think they ordered? You, They could have just been short on apple pies and they were coming up in three minutes. Your order is taking longer. It's special. You asking God to fix your marriage. Save your husband. Save your children. Bless my finances. Bless my health. Bless my wealth. Move on my behalf. Make my boss man leave me alone. Make my children treat me better. I need a closer walk with thee. Give me patience. Give me endurance. Give me strength. That's a long order. Is it too big for God? Absolutely not. But you can't get mad. Because the woman sitting next to you in church, standing up giving her testimony that God released her son out of prison. And he was supposed to do 10 years. And the prison got four. And he did three years. You can't get mad. But God, I don't understand. Honey, my son been in prison longer than Bertha's. And he didn't do what Bertha's son did. Bertha's son bad, Lord. Lord, he did all that. My son didn't do, you don't know what your child did. We don't know. When we raise them, they do their own thing. They in them streets. And you don't have to be seen in the streets to be in the streets. I'm speaking to somebody. So we need to walk back down the list. Since you don't mind waiting. One, don't complain. Two, communicate, pray. What was number three? Anybody paying attention? Give me number three. There you go. Let's see. Uh-oh. I wanted to pin it. Okay. I got you pinned. There you go. That's right. I got you pinned. Uh, Danette Smith got them all. You got to wait. You have to be patient. You can't be grievous. You got to trust the Lord. You got to lean not into your own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge him. And everything, you have to be still. Because when you are still, you can hear the voice of the Lord. You can listen and pay attention. He, he understands that you are communicating with him. And you're being still. Mm -hmm. Well, while I'm still, I'm going to trust him. And I'm going to obey him. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not going to be jealous or envious. Because my season ain't came. My expiration date ain't up. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to somebody. And I, I'm going to let this simmer and turn it off because I need to sit down. Is that all right? Hold on one second. Okay. Oh, y'all went around in a circle. <laughs> So listen, I'm sitting on me a bar stool. You have to understand 
that there is a process in waiting. Am I too close up? Do I need to push back some? Hey, E from Morasco. Do I need to push back some? Listen, it's a process in waiting. And when your season comes, it's just like knowing that God is passing through the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. There's so many people in the front. I use illustrations for a reason. When the french fries come up, remember you don't want salt on yours. So don't get mad at Deborah Dunbar because she just ordered fries. The fries had to come up. Those had salt. You didn't want salt. Yours is coming up. But God is doing some more stuff in there. Well, what could he possibly do? All they had to do was not shake the salt on them and give me mine out. It's the stuff in between. See, the grease could have had leftover salt residue in it. So they have a set of grease only for unsalted fries. Because they don't want to take no chance. So you only see part of what you want God to do. God is saying, there's so much in there. I don't want to take her son out of prison with a, with a prison mentality. He got to sit there a little longer till he acknowledges me and see that I'm going to be the one to set him free. Or I don't want to fix this marriage. Every time I turn around, she can't let go of what caused the problem. Yes, he cheated. He did it. He cheated. And he was with her. He did it. Now God dealt with him. You asked God to save him. He been praying and reading his Bible. He trying to come in. But he can't come in if you're going to keep throwing up what he did. God knew what he did. But God has forgiven him. You have to. Because if you don't, God can't do the perfect work in him. Well, I read something about... Um, well, here's the thing. I'm using only an analogy of prison. We all can be have prison in our mind. We can all be captive. Prison, sin is a prison by itself. Now, I'm just not talking about a physical prison that somebody is locked behind bars. We can be in prison spiritually. Yes, we can. We can be. But it's the mentality of understanding while we waiting. Now listen, I don't know everybody's story on him. So please don't come saying you talking about my son and you don't know his business and you shouldn't have said that. I don't know your child. But I do know that we can be in prison up here. We are our worst enemies. And if we think it, we think we ought to say it or we ought to type it. Mm -mm. Be still. When you tell your child to be still, you will whoop them if they can't be still. Get on that couch and be still. They get the fidgeting and moving and... Their attention span is so short. Well, that's what we do with Jesus. We're children to him. Did y'all realize that nobody has lived a day in the eyes of the Lord? A day in the eyes of the Lord is a thousand years, and no one has. We're in incubators. You're telling a baby to be still. God know how long you can be still. You're going to get fidgety. But if he say be still, do the best you can to be still. That's why I tell you all, to command your day. That's why I tell you all to put God first and love yourself. That's why it's so important to understand. I'm teaching you how to simply cook. I am doing something so simple and easy. I'm doing something some of y'all can do. Some of y'all can maybe even run rings around me. It's okay. Some of you say, my kitchen is too cluttered for you. That's okay. I'm not going to come in on stuff. That's okay. I get to the point now where you just have to, it's therapeutic. They just have to say it. Hey, Connie Simmons. But what I do know is that God gave me this platform. And I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing grand. I just opened my house and my heart to y'all. Because I'm seeking first the kingdom of God 
This was the desire I wanted. And all things be added. All things. All things. I can't worry about nothing else. I can't worry about how this chef cooks, how that chef cooks, what this person does, and what that person does. But what I can tell you is what I know God is able to do. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. I'm looking at you right now speaking. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 he's able, say it with me, oh, 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 he's able, oh, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able, he, oh, he's able. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Now, I want y'all to understand something. I respond to spiritual things and people's prayers and stuff like that. I'm just not going to respond to foolishness. Never, ever cease without asking for prayer. And if it's really personal, don't put it right here. Amen. And I also have a supporters group. And it appears that I can do videos and I can communicate later. That's just how Facebook got it. But I am going to create Zoom. I want to connect. I want to physically connect. I want to create Zoom. Um, with my supporters and, and eventually and then when I do cooking classes and stuff it's going to be open to everybody I'll, I'll tell you what to cook but he's able but I have to wait I have to wait I have to wait on God and I really don't mind because I get myself in trouble when I don't wait so everybody's expiration date and everybody's wait time is different According to the things that God want to do. Sometimes God says, but it, it's not this. I can, I, can, I can change this. I can fix the marriage. But you the only church. See how that point back? When you point a finger one point back. You the only member of the church you see in the mirror. So if he fixes me. And you don't get fixed. Lord, touch Tracy. Lord, let her just cook and be quiet. Well, if he fix me and he don't fix you. Or if he fixes what you call the marriage where it is. But there are other things that got to be resolved. A lot of marriages get in trouble because they don't communicate. That's why I told you to communicate. Communicate with God and pray. It's just like a, it's a marriage. It ain't just like the Bible compares the, the, the church to a marriage. We're married to him. So we don't communicate. We lose a lot. That's the same way with a physical marriage. Yeah, in the flesh. A lot of times we lose communication. He in one room, you in another. When a kid's a little, you be telling them, go tell your daddy to bring you. Tell your daddy to go to the store and pick it up. Well, what happened to all those days when you were trying to get to know him and her? Hey, what you doing? Nothing, what you doing? Nothing. <laughs> just sitting on the phone. Yeah. Well, I just want to hear your voice. Yeah, I did. You too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You gonna call me on your next break? Yeah, I'm calling you on my next break. Okay, I'll be waiting. Did you hear that word? Okay, I'll be waiting. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh my 
God. It's 10 minutes after his next break and he didn't call me. You complaining. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it, oh, it's okay. I, I knew you was going to call me. Yeah, I knew. Mmm. <laughs> Don't complain. Mmm. Mmm. Communicate. Mm. Mm. Be still. Mm. Mm -hmm. Trust. Oh, I knew you were going to call me. I knew. You yeah, I was waiting. I didn't call your phone because I knew you was on break. So I did what you said. Obey. Did you hear that in there? Uh huh. Now, your friend on the phone with her man saying, they got the same break time. They work in the same plant. He didn't call you? Honey, they get they break it this time. Remember, he worked a different machine in that plant. He might be in Tufton. And the other one might be in labs. So don't get jealous. Don't get envious. Just say he gonna call. Is that not what we just covered? Is that not we just, what we just covered? Is that not a good example? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Reggie you called her earlier, yeah. Yeah, don't y'all go on the break at the same time, babe? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He in that department. Yeah. Oh, today you worked, oh, you worked flooring today and not carpet. Oh, okay, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope I bless y'all, because y'all bless me, just by staying around. Whether it's your lunch break, whether you're home chilling, or whether you got the ear billets in your ear at work, thank you for listening, because it was a message. And guess what? Guess what, Tina Phillips? <laughs> it won't fall on dead ground. It's been put in the atmosphere. You don't mind waiting on the Lord. If you treat him, if you don't lose communication with your husband or your spouse. If you wait, if you be patient, if you trust, if you listen, if you be still. And don't be envious and don't be grudging. Don't do that. I hope it bless somebody. I really do, Deborah Daniel. I hope it bless somebody. Thank you, Michelle Black, and thank you for listening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Kimberly. Yes. Because a lot of times we go, I, I'm guilty of it. I get on my tablet. I surf through. I surf through. But sometimes I have to be still. Sometimes I be like, what? And I be watching. And I stay and watch that whole segment of somebody. And if you miss some, go back and watch it later. Oh. I have to have these segments. I've been praying. I desire to have them every day. After I cook. Somebody asked the other day on here. They said, is this not a cooking channel no more? And I thought, mm -hmm. but some people on here don't need the cooking. They need the word. They need to, they, they really want to connect to the Lord. They, they really want to know more and they don't really know how. They want to pray more, communicate more, and we get distracted. So, guess what? The device is in your hand anyway. You didn't read today, but you just read. Uh, yes, you did. You just read. I, I read the scripture before we started. There is a season to everything under the sun. We read the scripture. <sighs> Enemy going to get mad. Yeah, he gonna get mad because you're getting something. At the same time, this food drew you here. And there's some people say, Miss Tracy, I love you, but I just can't. I just not there yet. My attention ain't there. I have people not saying, Miss Tracy, do something quick and get on TikTok. I don't know nothing about TikTok. I don't. That's why I didn't build my YouTube. And my Instagram when I was doing Facebook. I'm I'm yet learning. Some people have kids to aid them and help them. But God gave me this assignment and I don't have that. 
but I'm doing it. This is my assignment. What's that? You welcome, Nancy Olson. I hope it bless y'all, and I thank y'all for sticking around. I I truly do. I can dip up the clam chowder and show y'all it's good, y'all. Sit in my bed. It's cold. We don't have any ice or snow, but it's cold. The temperature is dropping. And like I say, sometimes around this time, it's not for everybody. But if I get to the cooking first and I get it out the way, and then I try to upload videos for those that only want to see the cooking. But I have some stories to tell y'all about some things that I've come through. But I'm healed. Mm -hmm. Got a story to tell you about some things that I've gone through. But I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. Had some ups and some downs. Level to the ground. But I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. I had to wrestle all night long. Wondering what went wrong, but I'm healed. Hey, Princess Di Diamond, Princess Adams. Oh, I'm healed. Had some ups and some downs. Leveled to the ground, but I'm healed. Oh, I'm healed. God kept me delivered. He set my so free my heart is mended i'm whole again no chains are whole than me i am healed i am healed i am healed i'm healed today May have some struggles, but I'm healed. Disappointments, I am healed. Is that all right? Y'all continue to pray without ceasing. I know. I Listen, when I speak on things, I'm not acknowledge, acknowledging them. I'm trying to let you all understand it's spiritual warfare. In high places. But God got us in a place of stillness. We can't go like we want to go and do. And we're trying and things are getting worse. He's even bringing snow and ice just for you to be still. And listen. Listen. I'm a firm believer you can get a message out of any song. If it makes sense. Listen to the lyrics. Just listen. Is that all right? I don't want to take up your whole day. I don't want to wear y'all out. Hey, Ice T Snow. You got to start writing your real name under there, Ice T. I don't want to um, wear you out. I don't want to drag out the 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 um message. I don't care about the numbers. They go up and they go down. Hey, Reader Nations Jackson. But I hope this blessed you. I hope it bless you, Tina Phillips and Shay. I can't get your last name, but I hope it bless you all. I hope that it ministers to you when, when the camera goes off, you know. I can turn this camera on anytime I want to, all day long. But I turn it on to connect. Is that all right? Y'all are amazing. Keep warm, be still, be safe. If you have to go out in this bad weather, be careful, please. Um, you know, um, if you were out power, I, I pray that God just warms you and love on you. Hey, Andre Walton. Hey, baby. You have to go back and watch this. I made leftovers out of the, the sauce. I'm going to let y'all see it. It's not settled and I, I dip some out for y'all. Let me get a bowl. I need to get a bowl to dip it out so you can see the, the clam chowder. Um, let me turn you around real quick.
Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's pull it down so you can see it. Is that all right? Let me get a bowl. I get one of these pretty ones right here. Just so I can be fancy. Let me rinse my little bowl out. Hold on one second. All right. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Look at that. I told you it was going to settle on the bottom. You know, there's no need to go pay a red lobster for this. You can do it. Oh, you can do anything if you try. <laughs> yes, you can. There you go. And I'm giving everyone that has left and that remain. That remain at the rest. All y'all get a bowl. <laughs> yes, you do. What a piece of cornbread. <laughs> but if you don't want it, don't eat the cornbread, but don't throw it away. Wrap it up. Or say you don't want it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> look at how thick. When it settles, look, you buy this at, at, at Longhorns and, and look, let me drain it. Look at that. You buy that at Longhorns and, and Red Lobster. You don't have to. Look at all that goodness in there. Look at all that. Look at all that crab in there. You see it? I, I used it and shredded it up in shrimp and corn. Yeah. Don't you waste nothing. God don't want us to be wasteful. Uh-uh. No. So, I'm about to smash this. Is that, that's what the young people say. I'm about to smash it. Did y'all want me to take a bite? Y'all don't think it's good? Let me get a spoon. I got to find one of my, my little soup spoons, you know. But look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that smoke coming off of that. I know the glass is hot a little bit. And this is Avery's spoon. Look at it. Who could eat out of this, honey? Me. <laughs> but now, look, there it is. Here, everybody get a bite. There you go. Don't say I didn't tell you. Mmm. Mmm. You know, when something's so good, you can't wait to blow it. Lord, I have Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Woo. James Martin, you getting a whole bowl and a piece of cornbread. Don't think I ain't got no cornbread. Child, you take cornbread when you cook it. You take it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the refrigerator. The next day, you take it out. You pat it with some water. Wrap it tight in aluminum foil. Sit it in the oven. And it's like you just made a fresh batch. Yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. I won't complain. I won't. I don't even have a reason to. Mmm. Honey, yeah. Everything, shrimp and everything, get a bite. Don't y'all go pay? Yes, Faith Scroggins. Yes, you can have some oyster crackers. Who have a cracker? Honey. I'm going to do the cornbread. I'm not ready to eat it like when... I guess I'm only human. Y'all know I got to eat this when my show come on. Mouth watering. Started with leftovers. We created something d delicious. Yes, Michelle Black, I'm going to make a banana pudding. It's a lot of stuff I'm going to do. We got time. We're going to walk this thing out. Ooh, walk it out. And I rise up. I rise like the day I rise up. In spite of my age, I'll rise up. And I'll do, y'all know I turn everything churchy. 
a thousand times again. So we got time. Y'all know I don't know R&B that good. <laughs> I'll make everything gospel. So that's it. Janice Martin, um, I watch everything. I, I do really watch just Netflix and um, like Hulu or uh, Amazon Prime because y'all know I do budgets. So I save myself money. I used to pay $280 for cable. I pay $80 a month now. I got $50 worth of high speed internet with AT&T. They made me keep $10 worth of cable. And then I got fire sticks. And I have to pay for two receivers. So that comes up to $80 a month. And all you're getting, honey, you have to get understanding. Yes, and I'm getting caught up on stuff like Queen Sugar. I got to get caught up. Thank you, uh, Tiffany Diamond Princess Adams. I saw you on Chef Carmen's. Chef Carmen watches me and leave comments. And I left a comment. And under your name, I said, I love you. Yes, I do. My name is Tracy Nose Mitchell. I'm a nose. So when you saw that, that was me. That was me. So, again, I wanted you to see all that goodness. Ah, all, all that goodness. And y'all watch me make the sauce last night. Mm, 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 mm. So, I watch. Y'all be surprised everything I watch. But can I ask y'all a question? Why do I watch 600 Pound Life and be eating? And I be saying, Andre, well, she knows she don't need that. And I be eating with her. Not as much. Yeah, Tiffany Diamond Princess Allen, I know you watch me, baby girl. But you was on Carmen's Live and you said something. And I saw your name. And I said, hey, I love you. Yes, I do. But it was under my regular name, Tracy Knows Mitchell. That's all I was telling you. Janice Moore, why I be watching um, 600 Pound Life and be eating with them? Mm. I be like, and I need to lose weight too. But I be like, she gonna eat two packs of bacon? And that, them enough eggs for me to bake the... Heavenly pound cake. But then I be doing this. I be like, I be like, she know, she don't need that. Why she eating all that? And this is what I be doing. Mm mm. That's glutton. Put that down. And doctor now told one woman, you eat 10,000 calories a day. I was like, 10,000. A day? Ooh, he says, it ought to be easy for you to lose 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, how much? Not the now. You should have took more stomach. Honey, I'm going to get off this lie. Because I'm telling y'all now that I love y'all. Yes, I do. But I'll be watching it. Why? This being why I don't know. But I be sitting there watching the Evangelist Bowens and eating. Is God trying to send a message? No. I hope not. Janice Martin, that's a lot of food. And then on top of that, y'all sitting to him. Reason why y'all can't get no man. Y'all run, how they get one at 600 pounds? That's true love. And you running them off. I gotta go. Y'all shouldn't have asked me what I watched. Because that's what be going through my mind. That man love her. He bait. Okay. Andre, get the door. Andre, walk and get the door. Andre, you you need to reach out to me. Because it's, it's time for you to walk. Just wait a couple of more months. Because the prices of houses are going to drop. I keep seeing that in my spirit. God finna give you. Give you a home. Because even if you have one, you might be outgrowing the one you in. Andre, get the dough. 
Janice Martin, get the other dough. Yeah, I know you do, baby girl. I know, Tiffany. I know that. I just wanted you to know that was me. Tiffany, uh, Diamond Princess album, get the other dough. We finna watch out. All minds clear. Is there an announcement? Thank you all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Y'all notice my voice changed when I become the announcer. The announcements are as follows. Mama Tracy would like to thank each and every one of you for your time and watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Today is Leftover Monday. Don't leave anything out. Do not waste. Do not want. Okay? The next one is she wants to thank you all for watching. Number two, thank you for becoming a supporter. Your support means a lot to her. And she's so appreciated. She want to thank you for every cash out gift that you sent to Mama's Comfort Kitchen. For every email of encouragement and every inbox of encouragement. She wants to thank you from the bottom of her heart. That is all the announcements that we have as follow. Oh, please be safe and be careful. All right. Those were the announcements. <laughs> thank you, announcer. All minds clear? Very good. Everybody's on their post. Andre, Janice. Uh, Tiffany Diamond Princess Adams. Here we go. Let's do it, Janice. Repeat after me. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. In Jesus' name, amen. And, De and Danetta Smith wrote down all the things you need on this class today to read it and to, and to follow those four steps, okay? I love y'all. Yes, I do. Get out the parking lot. I gotta go. It's cold out there. I got my jacket. <laughs>